for decades. If you thought of a stealth bomber, you thought it'd be two spirit. It was a ghost in the sky, a nearly invisible specter that could strike anywhere on the planet, an icon of American power. But the world changes and the rules of war change with it. The very technology that made the B-2 a legend is now, believe it or not, pushing it toward retirement. The global landscape has shifted, new threats have emerged, and the cost of keeping this icon flying has become staggering. So, why is the Air Force betting its future on replacing its most famous bomber with the new B-21 Raider? This isn't just about getting an upgrade. It's a fundamental shift in the very philosophy of air power. It's a change driven by the simple, brutal need to stay ahead in an arms race that never, ever stops. The reign of the spirit, a legend forged in secrecy. To really get why the B-2 is on its way out, you first have to appreciate what a massive leap forward it was. When the B-2 spirit first took the skies in 1989, it looked like something from another world. A true flying wing. It was the product of decades of secret research and a colossal investment in technology that was completely unheard of at the time. Its mission was laser-focused. Penetrate the most advanced Soviet air defenses, deliver nuclear weapons, and get home in one piece. Its greatest weapon was invisibility. The B-2 was the first strategic bomber to truly master stealth. Through its radical shape, a mind-bending series of curves designed to deflect radar waves, and a top-secret skin made of radar-absorbent materials. The B-2 could show up on an enemy radar screen looking no bigger than a bird. This let it slip past the fences that would have swatted down a conventional bomber like the B-52. Powered by four engines buried deep inside its body to hide their heat, the B-2 was a subsonic phantom. It was designed to carry a heavy payload, including up to 16 B-83 nuclear bombs, a key part of its Cold War mission. With air-to-air -air refueling, its range was basically unlimited, giving it global reach from its home base in Missouri. But this power came with a truly unbelievable price tag. The B-2 program was astronomically expensive. The Air Force originally wanted to buy 132 of them, but then the Soviet Union collapsed and budgets were slashed. In the end, only 21 B-2s were ever built. When you spread all those massive R&D costs over such a tiny fleet, the price per plane shot up to over $2 billion, making it the most expensive aircraft ever built. For a long time, that price was worth it. The B-2 had no equal, but the world didn't stand still. The evolving threat, why the king is becoming obsolete. Here's the thing, the B-2 is a marvel of 1980s technology, and in today's world, that's precisely its problem. The primary reason it needs a replacement is that the threats have evolved so much. First, stealth itself isn't what it used to be. The B-2 uses what we now call first-generation stealth. It's still good, but countries like China and Russia have spent the last 30 years engineering advanced air defense systems specifically to hunt planes like it. They're using powerful new radars, advanced heat-seeking sensors, and network systems that all work together to find the faintest hint of an aircraft. The B-2 is a ghost from the front, but it's more visible from other angles. And in the crowded skies of the 21st century, that's a huge problem. Second is the crushing operational cost. The B-2 is incredibly expensive and difficult to keep in the air. We're talking about an operating cost of around $150,000 for every single hour of flight. A huge part of that is its delicate stealth skin. The material requires constant, specialized maintenance. After every flight, the B-2 needs hours upon hours of work. One report said it was 119 hours of maintenance for every hour in the air. It has to be stored in special climate-controlled hangars to protect its sensitive coatings. With a tiny fleet of only about 19 operational aircraft, losing even one is a massive strategic blow. This small, high-maintenance force just can't be in the air as often as it's needed. Finally, the B-2 was built with the tech of its time. It has what's called a closed systems architecture. In simple terms, this means major upgrades to its computers, sensors, or software require physically tearing the plane apart and making expensive hardware changes. In a world where technology evolves in months, not decades, the B-2 is getting harder and harder to modernize. 
it was built for a different fight, and a new era demands a new weapon. The Raider emerges, a new philosophy of air power. So, how does the B-21 Raider fix all this? The Raider, which had its first flight in November of 2023, isn't just AB-2 version 2.0. It represents a total shift in thinking about what a strategic bomber should be, built around three key ideas. Being tougher to kill, easier to upgrade, and cheaper to build. First, and most importantly, is its next generation stealth. While it has that same iconic flying wing shape, the B-21 uses what experts are calling fifth generation plus stealth. Its exact radar signature is one of the Pentagon's biggest secrets, but it's understood to be a significant improvement over the B-2. The design is smoother. The materials are more advanced and baked right into the plane's structure, making them far more durable and easier to maintain. You can see one major change in the air intakes. They're sunk so deep into the body that they're almost invisible from the side, making it much harder for radar to get a lock on the engine blades. It's designed for all aspect, 360 degree stealth, a critical edge against modern defenses. But maybe the biggest game changer is its open systems architecture. Think of it like a smartphone. Instead of buying a whole new phone to get better features, you just update the software. The B-21 is designed so that new software, sensors, and weapons can be swapped in quickly and cheaply as technology improves. This approach is supposed to make the bomber future-proof in a way the B-2 never could be, ensuring it stays on the cutting edge for decades. This new thinking also attacks the B-2's crippling cost. The B-21 was designed from day one to be more affordable. The target cost is around $750 million per plane, roughly a third of the B-2's price tag. The Air Force plans to buy at least 100 of them, and maybe as many as 200. A larger fleet gives you flexibility. You could deploy them more often, absorb potential losses without crippling your bomber force, and just get more missions in the air. The Raider is also built to be tougher and less needy, with stealth coatings that don't require the same level of obsessive care. Finally, the B-21 brings new tricks to the fight. It's a bit smaller than the B-2 and carries a lighter payload, estimated around 20,000 pounds compared to B-2's 40,000. But its superior stealth and ability to carry future weapons, like hypersonic missiles, give a huge advantage. And crucially, it's being built with an eye toward the future, with the potential to fly unmanned long-range strike missions in the most dangerous places on Earth without ever putting a pilot at risk. All right, if you're geeking out on this aviation tech as much as I am, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Look, switching from the B-2 Spirit to the B-21 Raider isn't about saying the B-2 failed. Far from it. The Spirit was a masterpiece, an exquisite weapon designed perfectly for its time, to face down a superpower. But today's challenges are different. They don't just require a perfect weapon. They require one that's adaptable, sustainable, and affordable enough to be there when you need it. The B-21 Raider is the answer to that new reality. It's a stealthier, smarter, more cost-effective bomber built for a new era of global competition. It's set to be the cornerstone of America's long-range strike force for the next 50 years, making sure that any target anywhere in the world is always within reach. The Spirit's time is ending, but the Raiders is just beginning. What do you think is the most impressive feature of the B-21 Raider? Is it the next-gen stealth, the open architecture, or the focus on affordability? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.